San Giacomo, Presses, Presents. The adjustment of the stroke length and the adjustment of the rotating cam system of the efficient and powerful T40CE C frame flywheel eccentric press. Warning The mentioned adjustments must be carried out with the machine off. Also, the press stroke length cannot be adjusted with a die installed. Furthermore, before starting the operation, the die must be removed. Now let's look at the adjustment of the stroke length. Step 1. Place withholding rod between the bolster plate and lower surface of the slide. Step 2. The height of the withholding rod must be adjusted to cover the entire range of the slide run in order to prevent an accidental descent of the slide while adjusting the stroke length. Step 3. With the machine off, and the special withholding rod in place, proceed to carefully loosen the nut by hand with a wrench. Step 4. Unscrew the grub screw, securing the serrated flange by approximately 10 mm. Step 5. Slide the serrated flange to the left. Be sure it completely detaches from the serrated joint. Step 6. Fit the provided pin into the holes in the connection rod eccentric. And turn the rod until the index zero is aligned with the number corresponding with the required stroke. Step 7. Slide the serrated flange to the right, in order to reposition it. Carefully tighten the grub screw. Finally, safely secure the grub screw with the nut. Warning. Before moving the ram, check the position of the extractor bar stops to ensure the bar will not strike them at top dead center. Now that you know how to easily adjust the stroke length, let's look at the adjustment of the rotating cam system. Before you do that, please heed this important warning. After each change of the slide stroke length, the cam limit switches must be repositioned so the slide stops exactly on top dead center. Work with the machine off, and carry out the following sequence of operations. Step 1. Open the door to the cam housing. Then loosen the lock nut with a 13mm wrench or socket. Step 2. Locate zero on the index, and rotate the cam, clockwise or counterclockwise. Step 3. Align the zero on the index with the number stamped on the support that corresponds with the run index which has just been set. Step 4. Tighten the lock nut down securely. Finally, close the door to the cam housing. By George it's time for another very important warning. When the stroke length has been affected and the rotating cam system adjusted, it is essential that the specialized personnel carry out at least one stroke on a single cycle to confirm that the slide stops exactly on top dead center at the end of the cycle. 
This test must be carried out before installing the die. Congratulations, you are now ready to operate the machine at the new intended stroke length. Let the press party begin. Thanks for your interest in San Giacomo presses. To find out more about our presses, like us on Facebook or visit our webpage at www.sangiacomo-presses.com.